Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Well, it's certainly been a beautiful day across the region. Right now we have sunny skies for you. Temperatures have been in the 70s and it doesn't get much nicer than this. That is for sure. Gorgeous weather will continue for the next few days before we start to see temperatures start to ramp up a little bit. Right now those temperatures coming in the 70s it looks like with some 70s across the region. We'll go ahead and take a look at the temperature maps right now. There we go. 73 in Hannibal, 73 in Quincy, 75 in Macomb with 72 down in Jacksonville. Some lower to mid 70s across the region and temperatures this evening will be very nice in the lower 70s to upper 60s and you might need a jacket out there later this evening. Otherwise, nice fall weather continuing on through the next several days. Gradually temperatures warming into the 80s for highs as we head in to the end of the work week and then a chance of rain this weekend as a cool front will move across the region, bring us that rain chance sometime on Saturday into Saturday night. Right now, sunshine 73 degrees out at the airport. The winds are out of the southeast at 10 miles an hour and the pressure is currently steady at 29.94 inches. So across the region, we know temperatures were were very comfortable. Made up to 75 degrees here in Quincy today. The average would be 74. The record 95 back in 1937 was not threatened today. The low 50 degrees this morning coming in just a couple degrees off the average mark of 52. Across the region right now, it's been a magnificent day of weather. 76 currently in Des Moines, 75 in Kansas City. Comfortable temperatures across the entire central part of the country, and that will continue to be the case as this blue H, a large dome of high pressure, continues to bring us east-southeast winds into the region. Pleasant weather conditions as a result will continue across the region. Now, out to our west, we do have an area of low pressure, an upper level low here, spinning up clouds and some precipitation over the heartland of the country. Not expecting this to make its way into our region. I do think we'll see a few more clouds as this tracks eastward, but I don't think there's going to be much in the way of any chances for rain tomorrow. We'll have clear skies for tonight. Tomorrow we'll see a partly cloudy sky with some of those clouds pinwheeling into our neighborhoods across the region, or at least the skies above our neighborhoods here in the tri-states. Otherwise, it might be a mite bit on the breezy side as well tomorrow. 52 degrees with clear skies out there tonight. Winds out of the southeast 5 to 15 miles an hour. Stars across the region. No problems out there weather-wise. We'll see temperatures fall back to near 50 degrees in Fort Madison, 53 degrees for our friends down there in Hannibal. Tomorrow, partly sunny skies, pleasant weather, 77 for an afternoon high. Temperatures generally in the middle to upper 70s area wide with those gusty southeast winds near 25 miles an hour. Partly sunny in Fort Madison tomorrow afternoon and Keokuk highs right there around 77 degrees in much of the region as we head through the next few days. Nice, delightful fall weather. Sunshine in 80 degrees for a high on Wednesday, 84. You can see that warming trend right now. Sunshine on Thursday. Take it up to 85 as we head on into Friday, and then we'll look for that chance of storms with that front coming through. Still trying to pin down exactly when that front will push through the tri-states region, but right now the most likely case will be sometime on Saturday with, uh, looks like rain chances ending by later on Sunday morning. I'm going to go with the dry forecast on Sunday, and then more cooler temperatures into the forecast region. No 90s, thank you. No, nope, we removed the 90. We just were trying to get on your skin last week. We showed that, so no. It's going to be all right, and the humidity should not be that bad as well later on this week. So. Great, Good thank news. you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mike. And coming up in sports, Chris Dewar has the week's top plays in your newest